Alright, hey, he's Mega here, and uh, guess what? I got a BMS, alright? It's not the one I ordered from Amazon, alright? So if you remember from the last uh, the last episode, um, I was waiting to get the BMS. I got the batteries. The batteries are charging right now, alright? Right as we speak. They're charging right now because I'm going to build this bad boy and install it today, okay? <laughs> alright? But yeah, so the, the thing, the big thing that was holding everything back was the BMS, and I got it, like, the other day all right and then um so what wound up happening was dally lost the bms in the mail all right dally or dhl lost the bms in the mail um i've ordered i've ordered two bms's from dally before and i haven't had any big problems with them until like now okay but i i told them hey i i sent a message to them and i asked them like hey where so where is my bms and what is it when, when is it going to get here type of thing and and I told them I I contacted DHL, and I told them uh, I told them I asked them like hey where's my package and they said you got to contact the shipper because we never got it all right so for whatever whatever reason, um, but Dally never sent the they created a shipping label but they never shipped the package they never sent the package to DHL to deliver to me all right so. So it's lost. I don't know where it is right now. All right, guys, it still says it's lost. What wound up happening was Dally refunded all my money. Okay, so thank you, Dally, for at least giving my money back. They did it in a timely manner. All right. Um, uh, I, I I don't know. Stuff like that happens. You know, they're in China and, we're, and I'm in the U.S. And it just it's sometimes it's hard to get stuff overseas. All right. Um, so what did I do? I wound up uh, buying this from Shriko Battery. All right. So I. I, I searched and I searched and I searched and I was like, man, I'm trying to find a BMS somewhere. I, I'm trying to find, you know, I'm trying to find that BMS, all right? And the sad thing is I could not find one. I could not find one in the United States, all right? I, I did not want to wait another month for Dali to send me one from China. So I, I tried to find something in the United States domestically, all right? And what wound up happening is I found one on Shriko batteries, all right? So... I'll put a link in the description where I bought it. All right, but um, it's a this is a 200 amp Bluetooth uh, BMS. All right, so this is the Bluetooth version. I think uh, the only difference between this and the other one that I have is it just has a Bluetooth dongle on it. All right, so maybe I could even use that add add a dongle to the other one so I can monitor the uh, what would be nice to, it's a, to monitor the voltage of the. Uh, of the of the balance leads all right to see how well balanced the battery is that way i don't have to go to each one and check with a multimeter and then write it down what it is all right so it's kind of, it's kind of time consuming it'd be nice if everything was right there all right but anyway i could only find a 200 amp bms to tell you the truth 250 amps is overkill for this system but in the future i may add another inverter and we would do 240 volts so we would double the output coming out of the battery and so that battery is 280 amp hours it can handle 280 amp load all right that's one seat all right and, and i never use that much all right the most i probably use is like 80 amps all right 80 amps comes out of that battery all right because it's a 24 volt yeah a lot of current comes out of it so if you were to double that it would be 160 amps all right i think i could get away with having like 150 amp bms all right that's that's my guess all right if, if I, at the very minimum, I probably wanted 150 amp, if I was going to add a second inverter in the future to double the output, all right? It would basically double the output, all right? It would give us 240 volts, but yeah, it would draw double the output from the battery, all right? Um, so, so uh, I got a 200 amp one. I think that's good enough, all right? It's between 150, like I said, it would be like 160 amp load is like the max, I is my, my theoretical guess, all right? 160 amps so this is above that by 40 amps i think this will be fine okay like i said the other one is 250 amps so so this one is rated a little bit less but it's it should be roughly the same i haven't opened it we'll take a look at it in a second all right so this is kind of like a show and tell video this one's a slightly different than the other one all right and it has a bluetooth capability so i didn't get the bluetooth last time so hopefully it will be okay to, to, to tell you the truth, I have had pretty much zero problems with that BMS, all right? Like, a, a few days after I got it, it caught an imbalance in the cells and it disconnected like it's supposed to, right? And that's the only problem I really had with that BMS, the only error that I've had with it, okay? So, it, it's been running really good, all right? A lot of people, 
I, I've been I've read some reviews on the Dally BMSs and some of them last a long time and some of them don't. I've had this one for a year and it's just chugging right along, all right. It probably has something to do that it's a 250 amp BMS and I'm really only running like 80 80 amps through at max, okay? So so it's like I it's it's overkill for what I need, but but hey, it's it's less problems, right? <laughs> okay. It's not even breaking a sweat, you know. <laughs> it's not even breaking a sweat with my loads. All right, but anyway, yeah. So we're charging the battery right now. So we're gonna, I'm gonna build this battery bank today and install it. All right, hopefully, I've got the battery. Um, the battery is at like 90% charge right now. I did not charge my Rav4 today. I am charging my my electric bike and my scooter and all that stuff, but um, I'm I'm trying to keep it from from overcharging. All right, because <laughs> this this uh, this uh, inverter has a problem when when it charges too fast. It freaks out and it just cuts the power to everything. All right, it's really annoying, and I don't want that to happen. Okay. <laughs> all right, but anyway, um, so let's go take a closer look at this BMS. I got this from Shriko Batteries. It was one hundred seventy-one dollars, so it's pretty much the same price as a two hundred fifty amp. So I feel like I'm getting shafted a little bit, but I got the Bluetooth module. This is okay. All right. Uh, they didn't even charge me tax. Why? Why? Thank you. Um, and uh, it had eleven dollars shipping. It was a hundred eighty-two dollars total. I, I think I think the Dal the the one from Dally was like uh, was like around two twenty-two. Yeah, that's how much they refunded my money. Two 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 two. <laughs> um, so this is actually I actually saved some money off of this. Uh, I actually saved like forty bucks. All right, but it would have been nice to have the extra fifty amps. Like I said, I don't need the extra fifty amps. So I think two hundred amps will be perfectly fine. All right. Uh, Hades Mega scoured the internet looking for any place. That they, they even have BMSs that look like the Dally BMSs, but it doesn't have it has a different name on it, but it looks like a Dally BMS. Um, but yeah, this is a this is, should be a genuine Dally BMS from Shriko Batteries. It came from Illinois, all right. So uh, it didn't come from China. That's the important part, all right. It got to be quick, all right, and uh, that's what I needed because I'm ready to get this thing rolling, all right. I got to get this project finished. I'm tired of seeing these batteries sitting in my garage down here. I got to put it back, put it to where where it belongs, all right. All right, let's go check this thing out real quick. All right, here we go. The unboxing. All right, I already opened the box. Uh, it does say on the side here, that's the only marking I see on it. Um, it says uh, 8S 200 amp Bluetooth fan. Okay, that's what I ordered. Hopefully, that's the right one. <laughs> okay, so this is, I think this is an invoice or something. They must have opened it before they uh, they gave it to me. There we go. So please visit shrikobatteries.com for wiring diagrams and latest software download links for Dally, JBD, ANT, and JK. I do know about J Dally and ANT. All right, those are some popular BMS. Um, it is very important to top balance the cells before putting together a battery pack with BMS. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. All right. Um, Use active balancers in parallel to BMS if batteries are used to get every, to get last drop of energy from battery pack. Okay, and then there's some uh, some contact information for Shriko batteries if you need help. All right, uh, for be reset issues or other BMS related issues. Okay, thank you, Shriko batteries. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's what's inside. Um, interesting thing to note is uh, there's a uh, it doesn't say Dally on the box the other the other one I got said Dally on it this one doesn't say anything on it it's <laughs> okay but there it is it's got quite a bit more cables and stuff in it all right so there's the BMS right there it looks exactly like the 250 amp one it looks exactly like it dude even the wiring and everything looks the same it just says 200 amps instead of 250 amps okay these are the uh, the battery positive and the and the ne negative power output all right um this is the uh i th believe this is the temperature probe right here all right and then there should be a balance cable i hope there it is no instructions in it at all all right but you, they said to go to the website they'll tell you how to do it but Hayes mega will just follow what we did in the last one i'll use the other one as a template okay but here's the balance cable all this freaking damn there's a lot of wires we'll just take the balance cable out that's the important one man <laughs> okay so there's the balance cable all right that's the 8s balance cable 
All right, it's got nine wires, right? It's got one negative and eight positive wires, all right? I just wired a battery up, so I'm, I'm kind of fresh on how to, how to do it right now. All right, this is the USB dongle right here. I guess this goes to your computer. Yeah, it does go to your computer, huh? Oh, no, no. Yeah, how does this get power? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't know how this works, guys. <laughs> I wonder if I could use this on the other... Uh, I wonder if I could use this on the other, uh, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, I don't like how this doesn't come with any weird, any, anything. Um, but anyway, I think this connects to the UART port here. Yeah, it connects to these two right here. The USB, I'm not really sure. I think, I think you just connect this to a computer, right? But I'm going to use a Bluetooth because it's a Bluetooth bundle, right? Yeah, it says Bluetooth on it. All right, so we're going to have to figure out how to use this later, but I'm not worried about this. I'm just want to get this thing running first okay guys yeah supposedly you can you can program it with this all right if you have if you have the software for this you could change the settings in this you can you can set it so it'll it can charge a lithium ion batteries all right but this is this is set for default for lithium iron phosphate batteries all right so here's the check it out okay it says here dongguan all right, that's where that's where they're located in Dangguan. All right, but it's but da, uh, Dali means Dangguan. Uh, Dangguan? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> it just is da, Dangguan Dali Electronics Company. All right, that's that's legit, right? Uh, it's a 8s 24 volt BMS. All right, perfect. Discharge current is 200 amps. All right. Uh, charge current is 100 amps. All right. I I don't know if we're going to be charging more than 100 amps. I think I don't think so. I think the most that we charge is like 40. We'll probably get close to 80 amps maybe if I add more solar panels, all right? And it says Life Po4, right? Lithium iron phosphate, common port, all right? BMS, 280 amps. There's a Dali sticker right there. There's a fan. Remember, I said this thing looks like a free... They didn't even put the sticker on straight, man. Look at how it just wobbles around like that. <laughs> There's a heat sink. Big heat sink here and a fan, all right? Um, and yeah, and then that's it. And remember I said it looks like, oh, there's another port right back here. I'm not sure what this is for either. Man, okay. Um, and, and yeah, so there it is. So let's go get ready to install it, all right? So this was, a this was $171 and $180 shipped to my door from Shriko Batteries. All right, so I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to buy one of these, all right? I ha they shipped it to me pretty quick. Uh, I think I ordered it on a Friday and I got it on a Monday. So it took like three days, you know, it, it went through the weekend and then it got to me on a Monday. Okay. So, so good times. <laughs> we got it. All right. So the important thing is to, yeah, we need to charge the battery up now. Okay. So, all right. In the next uh, episode. So this is it. All right. I got it. I got it. We can start, we can finish the battery project. All right. I, I have all the parts necessary to build this new the second battery crate battery crate number two all right is what it's going to be called all right okay and uh and yeah so in the next episode we'll go and uh we'll go and install all this stuff all right uh, so right now it's charging so all right let's make out <laughs>